Okay, I have prepared some tasks for both of you today and I bet it can't handle each task. So let's start with the first one. The first one is create a simple Hello World page in Next.js using the app router. The page should display the text in large standard font. When I hover the text, I want to see some effects going on. You can decide what effect suits best. I know, I know it's easy, but let's see how it's doing. Here we are. That's what Bolt.new came up with. We have a Hello World, okay, and when I hover it, welcome to Next.js. Yeah, I like the effect. It's creative. It's it's nice animated. I really can't lie. It's not white background. It's it's not so yeah so silly. It is really looking good. And I would say this task is proved. So let's go to the medium task. Implement a basic block layout using Next.js App Router. Create a homepage that lists blog post titles and individual blog post pages. Use static data for the blog post and implement implement proper linking between pages. Okay, so this is a little bit harder, but I would say it's medium. It's it's not like, oh, how can we do it? No, usually the normal programmer can do this very, very easily and very, very fast. So let's see how AI is doing. Okay, here we are with the next result. And I will not lie, this is looking great. I mean, I'm on a zoom level here, so normally it would be like that. But for you, I zoomed a little bit in and this looks good. Welcome to my blog, my blog. Hello world, welcome to my first blog post using Next.js and the app router, understanding Next.js app router. And now the test, can I click it? Yes, I can, that's great. But I, there's no possibility to me for me to, to, to get back. I mean, except I reload the page, so this is working. And the blog post is working. Okay, I would say solid job, but let's look in the code. What is he really doing? Is he using? Yes, he's using generate static parents. I was hoping for that because I told him do it in the static way. That definitely is the static way. Uh, I mean, in that uh, kind of way here, it makes no sense because he's not talking to a database, but you have saved the blog posts here and this is all looking great. I really have to say good job, Bolt. So let's get to the next one. Okay, this is now a hard one. Build a dynamic e-commerce product page with Next.js app order. Implement server-side rendering for the initial product data, client-side interactivity for adding items to a cart, and use Next.js API routes for handling the cart functionality. Include error handling for when a product is not found. There's a lot to handle here. Let's see how Bolt is doing that. I like how he's always starting with this, certainly I'll do it for you. I like that. And I also like that you just can't see everything. You're just inside of this app. You're just inside of it. You can copy everything. You see everything. You see how everything works and not just this one component as it is in V0, for example. Okay, here we are with a problem. Okay, but this is not a problem in Bolt. Like, it is a problem, but we can easily solve it because he knows it's a problem. So we can say fix problems and let's see what was the problem here can't resolve components UI use toast. Okay, so the toaster is not working. Let's see, what is he doing now? Okay, I have to be honest with you, this is taking quite some time here. He's creating the use toast again, I would say. Let's see what is what he's... Okay, and now he seems to be finished. He's in the last updating the product details. Welcome to our e-commerce store. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, it seems to be finished, but I can't see anything. So what is going on here exactly? Let's just try to reload that, but nothing happens. Okay, but at least we have some code to look at and we have a route TS as I prompted him. So we have a post and we have a get that's looking good. I would say we have a product not found error handling site. That is good. Just prompting product not found. Sorry, the product you're looking for doesn't exist. I hope we can test this in a minute. Then we have this page.tsx. He's using the new style with an async component and awaiting the get product call and the get product call is coming from lib products. Where is lib? Where is lib? Where is lib? Where is lib? Let's close the UI folder. Here it is. Products TS. That is get product await new promise. Okay, he's just yeah, simplifying that here a lot, but all in all, that is fine, but I hope it's working. It's working now. Okay, welcome to our e-commerce store. Check out our featured product, view product. Okay, that's not beautiful, but it's okay. And I, I didn't do anything. I didn't click it and he has errors again, but let's try to click it. Okay, this is working. Awesome product. This is an amazing product that you love. $29.99. Okay, quantity one. Can I add it to my card? No, because I don't have any card. I don't even have enough. And it's, ooh, fail to add item to card. Please try again. 
Okay, but ah, that's that's the toaster. That is not the UI from Bolt. Okay, so the toaster is telling me uh, that this is not working, and this is great because this is what I wanted him. If something is not working, but I, I hope that it that it is still working. Let's see. Okay, I just have this one product, and now it seems to work. But I would say that was not so perfect. I mean, it's working, and that is that is the main thing. But I want that this is working without any errors and that I don't have to mess with it around. And the UI is, it is okay. It, I mean, it's it's using actually Shetzian, I guess. I had this components UI. Yes, it actually loads every Shetzian component in here and it's using them. So this pretty look pr looks pretty much solid, but I miss a navigation bar. I mean, I, I didn't told him do a navigation bar, but did I really have to say every small detail? If I say make an e-commerce store, I want a store with a navbar, of course. But okay, let's look into the last task I have for him. Okay, create a real-time collaborative to-do list application using Next.js app router with server components, client components, server actions, implement user authentication, real-time updates using WebSockets, optimistic UI updates, and proper error handling. Use a database of your choice for data persistence and ensure the application is fully responsive and accessible. <laughs> Okay, I know, I know, this is <laughs> this is a a difficult one, but let's see how he's doing that. And again, certainly he's doing that for me. Very, very lovely, thank you. Okay, he really is doing a lot here. Huh. Wow, this is taking a lot of time, but uh, this prompt was a lot, so I'm fine with it. I thought actually that this will come up with a lot of errors. But let's see if this is working. Okay, the first thing that happens is, again, the problem with the toaster. So let's try to fix that again. And again, the toaster. And again, the toaster. He, he really has a problem with toasters. Okay, I really have to click fix problems for every page here. Maybe it's over. Maybe it seems to work now. No. <laughs> okay, this seems to not work. Sadly, I was really hyped for that. But let's take a look in the code what he actually did so let's just close a lot here because i think oh there's the toaster you are so bad okay we have prisma service okay so we have a dot env okay he came actually up with some database url mocking and that kind of stuff what else do we have we have so we have the index oh he's using express okay mm, i don't know if i'm a fan of that then he's using socket io this is for the web socket connection so he really is doing IO on. That looks good. Console logging, socket broadcast emit. Okay. Okay, he really did stuff there. I thought he's just ignoring the WebSocket thing because WebSockets have a high complexity. And then he has a schema to Prisma file. Okay, he uses Prisma. I'm a Drizzle fan. I don't like Prisma, so I don't know if this is looking good. But uh, to all the Prisma fans <laughs> watching my videos, tell me, is this looking good? I mean, he's doing it, so that's already a great step because what you should not do is let AI do everything. You should know everything and just make your workflow faster with AI. At least that's my position of, of thinking about AI. But uh, yeah, this is very helpful here. So we have components, yes, UI. We have an auth provider. He's using next auth. Oh, okay, wow. If you want to see how next auth is working in detail, click the video down. No, not down anywhere up here. I don't know where, but I made a video about next auth and yeah, the, the most complex things there. And yeah, take a look at that. But okay, what else do we have here? We have the to-do list. Uh-huh, okay. He's using use session. Okay, that's interesting. Use toast. The toast is not working, so I don't care. Okay, he's, he's really using the web sockets. I like that. I mean, it's not working, but the good thing is that he shows how it could be done. And this is already helping a lot, actually. And then we have our app folder, we have the API, the auth route, next auth route. I hate this in, in next auth, that's so awful. But route TS is looking good, I guess. We have the adapter set it up. We have GitHub set it up. GitHub auth, auth is very easy, so that looks good here. We have a callback function, which is setting the user ID. I mean, you don't need to have, you, you don't need to do that, but that is good practice, definitely. And then we have the layout TSX, even with metadata, not bad, not bad. And the author writer wrapped around toaster children. 
Okay, I really have to change my opinion on Bolt because I was not a fan. And I hope that this video will show how bad Bolt on you is. But I will be honest with you, it is good. But not as a thing that will replace us developers. I don't think this will happen in the next years. But it is another nice help. Because V0 is a nice help, Cursor is a nice help. And if you want to see a video about V0 and Cursor and how to use it with ChatGPT and all that stuff, yeah. Click up here, I don't know where it is, but I made a video about that as well. But I really have to say, I like Bold, sadly, because I hope that I, I, did, I don't like it, because, nah, I don't know, AI, it's really it's really a lot at the moment uh, coming to us. Um, I like that you see everything, that is great. He really did solve the things that I gave him. I mean, the preview is not working very well. I have errors on the last one, but the last one was a beast of a question, so... I'm sorry for that, Bold. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching that video. And subscribe my channel, write a comment what you want to see next. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.